Good morning, Year 5. Right, OK, we're moving on to adding and subtracting decimals today. Um, hopefully you're going to find this quite simple or a slightly easier lesson than maybe some of them have been. Um, we had a little practice yesterday on um, adding and subtracting in our Zoom lesson, so I'm hoping that's given you a little bit of help. Um, we're, so let's let's have a look at it, shall we? So our in focus today. So have a look at the picture. That's quite crucial. So we've got our image here and we've got 0 0.9 meters and 2.5 meters. Then we've got two strips of paper. Um, ignore this, because I think this is a little bit confusing. Basically what it's asking is, using this here and this here, is there enough decorative paper to line one side of the board? So using this and this, could we line a side of the board? So pause the video and have a go at writing that down and explaining it. And remember, you need to actually explain it with words. So explain, is there or isn't there? If you think there is, justify it by using the calculation. And if you don't think there is, then you need to justify it in, um, through use of numbers, okay? So pause the video and have a go now. Right, okay, so let's have a look at that then. So you can see that I've actually used a bar model here. So if you if we look back at this, in fact, if I pop a little version of this on our screen here, okay, hopefully you can see it well enough. You can see that we have got 0 0.5 meters and 0 0.3 meters. So I've put those together here, 0 0.3 and 0 0.5. And when they're next to each other, we can see that that means that obviously we need to add them together to find the total here. So this is our part, part, whole model. This is the whole, this is part, and this is the other part. So put simply, all we have to do is 0 0.3 plus 0 0.5. Now you'll see that we talked yesterday about this in our Zoom call. It's lined up properly. So we've got our ones column lined up, our tenths column. If we have any hundreds, they should be lined up and the same with thousands. So we must make sure that our digits are properly lined up. That's really, really crucial. Um, so if I look at that, three and five makes eight. So it should give me an answer. Obviously I don't work out from the left-hand side. This is just where I'm typing. Okay, but you can see that three add five is eight and then zero add zero is nothing. So it is equal to 0 0.8. So in here, my answer will be 0 0.8. That didn't work very well, did it? Let's try that again. Um, okay, so let's see whether that helps us to answer then. If this is 0 0.8, the two of them added together is 0 0.8. And there's another way to look at it here. You can see we've got the 0 0.5 plus 0 0.3 all together gives you 0 0.8 okay so it's just another way of looking at it. I personally prefer this because I think you can see that the three and the five three tenths and the five tenths put together make that whole so I prefer to look at it as a bar model like that you can do it however you like um so they've given us the answer here I think we probably already know that the answer is no we can't so let's have a look at the answer then um so 0 0.8 is not enough, is it? Because we need a minimum of 0 0.9. Um, this one here, we're nowhere near close, but we could, we are quite close to this. But the answer would be there's not enough paper to line one side of the board because 0 0.5 plus 0 0.3 equals 0 0.8. That's a full stop, not another decimal point. Just be careful of that. But then we have to go on to say why it doesn't cover a side of the board. So 0 0.8 meters, is 0 0.1 meters less than 0 0.9 meters. Okay, we've got to explain that bit. So they would need another 0 0.1 meters. And I've just put in brackets here, which is another, which is also 10 centimeters. So we're looking at our converting there as well. So they'd need another 0 0.1 meters to line the side of the board. All right, so nice, uh, hopefully slightly easier maths no, um, in focus for you today. So let's have a look at our guided practice. Key thing I want to draw your attention to is this vocabulary. Now I know before we finished, um, before lockdown, some of you are still struggling with these words, this language, sum and difference. The sum of something is when we add two things or more than two things, but when we add things together, okay? Creating the sum of something is adding 
And when we find the difference, we're finding the difference between the two. And if I show you, let me just quickly jump onto this here. Um, hopefully this will make it make sense. So if I need to find the difference between three, oh, that's typical, isn't it? Let's change the color of that. Three and 17. I'm looking at what is the gap between the two. So if I were to go like you used to on a number line, I'm going to jump up my number line. How many numbers are there between the two? So that's what we mean by finding the difference. What is the difference between three and 17? You have to jump. Now, actually, it might say what's the difference between 17 and three? Still the same answer. OK, you're still looking at the gap between the two. So that's really important, that vocabulary. Uh, the guided practice does use some counters to help you. So you can use those counters, have a look. It's also shown you in words and in numbers. So we're trying to really, really look at all the different ways that we can see these numbers. Um, questions two and three, it doesn't say it in the book, but I would really like you to um, see how many different totals you can find. So it says name a pair of numbers that add up to 0 0.6. How many totals are there? There's not that many. So I think that's a little challenge you can do. And then number three, name a pair of numbers that differ by 0 0.7. This one, there's a lot. So you wouldn't need to give me all of them, but see if you can give me a range. Your worksheet today is following on from that. Um, this here I've just circled because it says find the sum of one tenth. Oh, find the... Sorry, I misread that when I looked at it and I saw the difference between. Um, but again, that when we're adding the sum of, it doesn't matter what order they are. Um, find the difference between eight tenths and three tenths. There we go. Look, that's the bit that really I should have circled because we can start at three tenths and end at eight tenths if you want to. OK, or you could do eight tenths, take away three tenths. Think about how we write those numbers, eight tenths. How would we write that as a decimal number? So I think probably lots of you will whiz through that quite quickly today. So then I've popped on quite a few extensions today. Um, so you can all have a go at these, Maths Teasers Group as well. If you want to do all the extensions today, you can, because I do feel that you're probably going to whiz through your work quite quickly. Um, so we are looking, first of all, at what mistake has Dora made? She has made a mistake here and then use at least two representations to show why she's incorrect. Representations means can you show me with fractions, decimals, words, use at least two of those to show us how that's wrong. Uh, the second one here, compare the number sentences using more than, sorry, less than, more than or equal to. So you have to work out. These are, uh, these are equations. So obviously you're working out what's on this side. And then you're working out what's on this side and then you need to put your answer in here. So before you, the first thing you have to do is work this out and I would write the number up here. Do the same on this side, work out what this would be added together and write the number up here and then you can easily compare. So you do the same with the second one there. And then this one here, our part whole model. So this is the whole, what would the parts be? OK, and it's shown just in a slightly different way round. But this is the whole. What would the parts be? What would go with this to make this? So whatever goes with this goes in here to make this whole. And then maths teasers group, um, you have got so a number add what equals one. So numbers to one. Um, and then Tommy says, I think the answer is 0 0.777. And then he gives his reasoning for it. So you have to say, do you agree with Tommy? If you do, um, can you explain in more detail why what he's done is correct? And if you don't, you need to correct him. You need to, need to explain your reasoning why he's not correct. This one here, um, you've got your strip of paper, which is 0 0.0 meters long, and it's cut into two unequal parts. Gives you the difference in the length between the two strips is 0 0.1. So how long could they be? So that's sort of using bar models again. And this final one here, um, can you find a way through the maze when each time you add them up, you get all the way through and the total will be one. OK, could go any way around that maze. 
Um, once you found a way, can you find another way? Are there any others? Um, I've given you one way on the answer sheet, but there may be more than one. So if you think there is, can you prove it to me? All right, so any questions, you know what to do. Come on to Tapestry and we will um, give you some help with it. But hopefully the work that we did yesterday, thinking about lining up your decimal numbers, hopefully that will help you today. All right, have a good time and uh, can't wait to see your work. <laughs>